Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Suvi, and today we are back with episode 10 of Demon Slayer. In episode 9, a quick recap, we have just killed the guy with the arrows. I forgot his name already, so yeah, uh, now we're gonna have to deal with the girl that likes to throw balls, and she has a lot of arms. So let's jump straight into it, episode 10. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. Alrighty. Okay, okay. There's always this quick recap in the beginning. Twisting Whirlpool. Always love that attack. I wish they would explain why Demon Blood can like create all these special abilities. And how breathing can create all these water abilities too. Cannot listen to this song, otherwise I get copyrighted. Alright, let's go. He's dead, right? Now he's gonna disintegrate. Whirlpool isn't as strong when it's not underwater. But I used his attack to gain power and envelop the arrows. Smart. Big yeah. brain. You damn rat! How could you do this to me? Oh. I just needed to bring him your head. That's all it would have taken to finally win his approval. Shit, he's still alive. I'll make sure you pay for what you've done to me. I'm surprised I'm surprised he still has eyes. Bro, his eyes is hanging out so nasty. Whoa! He's got me. This force is stronger than any of the arrows he's hit me with before. I have to defend myself with every move I've got, or my body will be smashed. Bro, I thought he was dead. He's not dead. Holy shit! Bro, how are you supposed to fight back against this? Yeah, but he's been hit with the arrows. Gosh dang, does he have no limit? Wouldn't he be tired after using all these moves? Yo! Oh shit, this guy's like dying, but he's still attacking. Holy cow. Gosh dang. How does he produce all that water? He's dead. He's gone. Alright, he finally wins. Bro, he must be exhausted. Dang. He's almost out of it. But I don't think he can fight against that girl right now. Yo. Yeah, I, it's not surprising that he broke a few bones. It, it's no use. I'm so exhausted, I can't even grip my sword. I gotta go. I gotta get over there. There's one more demon left. Dang. Hang on, I'm coming. I'll be there soon. Just hang on. I'm coming. Yeah, I don't know, man. Nezuko right now is, uh... She's missing a leg. Yeah. This guy, he, I don't think he can fight against this girl. Avoiding a bunch of linear attacks like these is child's play. Finding you will be easy too. <sighs> and finding you will be a piece of cake. You may be good at that concealment spell, but I know right where you are. 
God damn. She can control it too. Oh. Ness goes back. Ness goes back. Dang, Nezuko! Fight back! It's kind of weird to see, like, to see, like, Nezuko, like, Nezuko sees everyone as part of her family. I feel like it's kind of unfair to her in a way. But dang, why can't she kick the ball back now? Are we having a game of kickball now? I sure wasn't expecting them to be playing kickball. Dang, it's, it's almost like the ball's getting faster and more powerful, and whoever's weaker is just gonna die. That serum sure did a lot. Dang. Has no effect on her physical strength. We're witnessing Nezuko's power. Without even a drop of human blood. This is all her. Dang. Why is Nezuko so strong? Okay. Damn. But her opponent is formidable. If she gave it her all, Nezuko wouldn't stand a chance. Really? She needs help. Let's see what I can do. <laughs> her? Did, wasn't her power like some sort of like perfume thing? I'm going to have to give this everything I've got. I'm curious to see how long... Oh, she can create more balls. Okay. If you're a 12 Kizuki, I have a question. Get out of the way. Move it, you damn fugitive. One question. That's all I'm asking. Do you have any idea who Kibutsuji really is? <sighs> what the hell are you saying? He's a coward. Surely you've realized that. He's in a constant state of fear. How dare you! Damn you! Shut up! How is Kibushiki you know a coward? How demons can ever group together? Or why they cannibalize each other? Because he doesn't want us to group up. His fear is that we would attack him if we could. Now, why would you guys attack him? To make them behave. Demons like you. Don't you dare! Don't say that! Shut up! He has no reason to be so petty! Of course. Lady Tomoyo is casting a spell. You can't comprehend the power he wields! No one's stronger than him! Not Lord Kibusuji! Okay. Oh. You forgot you couldn't say his name, didn't you? Uh oh. So what happens if she says his name? Magical aroma of daylight. It weakens the target's brain functions, making it impossible for them to lie or keep secrets. And it's so potent. Lady Tomoyo. I feel sorry for you, but farewell now. Farewell? Please forgive me! I'm so sorry! I'm begging you! I didn't mean to! Please forgive me! Yo, what is happening to her? Whoa. Damn! What the... What the fuck? Oh, that looks. That looks nasty. What the fuck is this? Oh 
Oh, damn. Yo, that is brutal. My God. That is nasty. What the fuck? Why? Shit. Her muscles are still twitching. Where is she still alive? I don't know. I think she's dead. She has to be dead. God damn. Is it all over? Is she dead? She will be momentarily. Kibutsuji's curse. The cells he left in her body will destroy it. She'll be ripped apart from the inside. Damn. What kind of powers does he have? A battle between demons is futile. It's pointless. The wounds they inflict on each other can't be fatal. Only sunlight. Or the sword of a demon slayer can kill them. Except Kibutsuji. He's the only one who can destroy a demon's cells. Damn. Kibushki can destroy demons too? You can't inhale Lady Tamayo's spell. The human body can't take it. You got that? Tanjiro. The demon we fought. She's not one of the 12 Kisuki. She's not? The 12 Kizuki all have numbers engraved on their eyeballs, but she doesn't have one. Ew, what the fuck? They engraved tattoos on their eyeballs? They were too weak. Too weak? They were insanely strong. Lady Tamayo's never wrong. Pathetic. That demon was incredibly stupid. She thought she could get away with hurting Lady Tamayo. She deserved what happened to her. Damn. Lady Tamayo is strong, though. I'm not gonna lie. With any luck, this blood will still be instrumental for us in developing a cure. The heart powers is pretty insane, too. She was already medicated, and she inhaled my spell, for which I'm deeply sorry. Why do they call her a traitor, though? All right, don't move a muscle. You're on your own now. I won't leave Lady Tamayo's side. Not for a second! <laughs> Destroy. Oh, that's what it says on his back. Yo, is the demon still speaking? How? Dang, Tanjiro. He is so nice to the demons. Dang. What a brutal way to die. One of the 12 Kizuki. Deceived. Forced to fight. And now, it's Kibutsuji's curse that killed you. No salvation. So who are the real 12? Once you die, not even your bones remain. Dang. Is this the price you pay for killing people? Yeah, Tanjiro just hates this guy more and more. So Tanjiro doesn't consider all those other people completely demons, huh? Wow. Miss Tamayo. Hey, Yushiro. We're over here. What? You really don't need to come down. But if you want to, hurry it up. Yushiro. Just kidding. Yeah, they can't have any sunlight. 
Or as they die. Why is he jealous? <laughs> I guess he wants to do that too. Calm down, Yushiro. I don't mind at all. Right. You're so kind, Lady Tomoyo. Oh my so god. Beautiful to believe. Is so cute. You know, I didn't like the idea of that spell at first, but she still seems to have a will of her own, so. Oh, no, no don't cry! I'm so sorry, Nezuko, stop and get away from her! You're being very rude! Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much, Nezuko. I guess she wanted a family too. There is a way for me to keep you alive if you want. However, it will cost you your humanity. If I don't do it, you will indeed succumb to your No way. Oh my god. If you lose your humanity. Oh, this is only episode 10. What the fuck? Oh, this is gonna be hard. And this episode's all the emotions. Holy cow! Miss Tamayo, thank you for your concern. But Nezuko's staying with me. Nothing's gonna break us apart. Never again. Aww. Yes, I understand. Well, I wish you good fortune then. All right. We will be leaving as soon as we cover our tracks. You should get moving as well. You're right. And good luck. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Let's Episode go. 10 was beautiful. My yeah. gosh. That's nice. That is nice.
Is that another Demon Slayer? I think I, I think I saw him during the exam, right? Oh, nice! Let's go! Okay, wow, so, uh, I just finished episode 10. Let's, uh, let's give that a quick summary, shall we? Uh, so episode 10, uh, we have, uh... I wouldn't say did Okay, so... Miss Tomoyo, I believe? Uh, used her, uh, ability and made that demon girl with the balls, uh, say, uh, Luzon's name, and I guess that's something that you're not supposed to say, and when you're being cursed by him, and she ended up triggering his, uh, what you call it, she ended up trigger triggering his curse, and which, uh, caused a bunch of hands to pop up, and just, you know, rip her from the inside out very very gross i was genuinely surprised by uh how brutal he is god damn um yeah and uh, apparently they were fake uh they weren't part of 12 because they didn't have a number in their eyes and now uh, miss tomoyo and her servant uh is gonna have to move and i teared up i teared up uh when Miss Tomoyo uh, started crying about the fact that uh, Nisko treated her like family. Uh, I guess uh, being a vampire uh, and family just doesn't come together and I felt that. I felt that for some reason. I started tearing up and oh my god, I was surprised. Uh, yeah, episode 10, very very good. I very much enjoyed it and at the end of episode 10, we, I think we met this yellow haired demon slayer guy. I, I believe he was at the exam. But yeah, episode 11 is going to be pretty awesome. So uh, yeah, episode 11, next, next reaction. Okay. Oh, bye.